Up first this evening, the island-wide sick-out by rank-and-file members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force continued into a fifth day on Wednesday, with as much as 20% of some divisions calling in sick. The cops have been absent from work since Saturday, protesting the stalled wage negotiations with the government. But even as they await the next steps in the negotiations, contingency plans had to be implemented over the Christmas holidays, and again today to deal with what some have described as a crisis. TVJ's Herman Green has the primetime news follow-up. Five days and counting. That's how long law-abiding Jamaicans have been forced to manage with reduced police staff at stations and on patrols across the island. A potential crisis, as up to 20% have been absent in some divisions. Among the areas of concern, the St. James Police Division, which has been struggling with high crime figures this year. Superintendent Gary McKenzie, who heads operations in the division, says they have been stunned by the number of cops calling in sick. If we lose one person because of illness, then we are affected. And, and so, you know, we, just like other divisions, over 100 persons um, would have reported ill. And, um, you know, it affected how we conduct some operations. Deputy Commissioner of Police Clifford Blake confirmed that this level of absenteeism has been seen at all divisions across the island, including St. Mary and Portland. The cops who have been at work picking up the slack since Saturday were assisted by JDF personnel, justices of the peace, and cadet corps members. DCP Blake notes that despite the assistance, each division is still struggling because of the sick out. It has certainly affected our operations right across the island, but I want to commend the members who have remained loyal to their oath of office and have continued to serve the public under very difficult and trying circumstances. I want to send a special commendation to them. There's no doubt that they have had to work significantly extended hours, but I say they are doing so with great spirit, and I really want to commend them. We have been able to prioritize and to ensure that the general citizenry have been safe over the period. We have seen where some persons are returning, and so we hope that in very short order, uh, we will have normalcy as it relates to persons becoming well, um, you know, in, in the coming days. The executive of the Jamaica Police Federation met on Wednesday to discuss its next move in light of the failure of the Prime Minister to respond to its request for him to intervene in their wage dispute. But there was no word on the outcome of the meeting up to news time. Executive member of the Federation, Corporal Arlene McBean, referred our queries to the General Secretary and Acting Chairman of the Federation, Sergeant Cecil McCullough. However, we were unable to make contact with him. Herman Green, TVJ News.